Spray the comb that are infested, we'll choose them and see the ones that are already infested, like this one right here. Now, this one right here. Now, so I told you, you don't need to spray the the leaves like this, like this. No, you have to spray it in. You can see where I'm spraying. You can see where I'm spraying. You can see where I'm spraying. You can see it so that the caterpillar inside can survive. That's to that. That's to that. So. That is done now, so you don't need to see. You spread it in, you spread it in. Once you spray it, it's done. Okay, you can see now I'm spraying it. I'm spraying it. So that's uh, something in the past. Something in the past. So we keep on spraying them until they finish. Thank God the, 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 the farm is not much, so I can spray it with this one. So if you have a very big farm, you should use. Use the normal sprayer, probably, but be careful when you're spraying it so that you spray the inside so that uh, you don't end up doing a uh, work that will not benefit you or wasting time and money. <laughs> so you can see, so the caterpillar in here cannot survive this, <laughs> it cannot. cannot survive this. So, you're not pitting the caterpillar itself because you're not pitting my plants. <laughs> Can't pity them, they're not pitying my crops. So I let my work go to waste. So this is how to spray. It. So if you're watching this video, you are learning it. So you whenever you're spraying your farm or people spraying it for you, you can give them the direction on how to spray it so that uh, your yield will be very, very massive. So that your yield will be very, very massive. This is how to spray. It. You see this one? You see this one? Spray the inside so that the caterpillar in it will die. The uh, crops can do well. The crops, even the big guys, this one, if you see the inside, by the caterpillar. <laughs> so the caterpillar are not feeding you at all. They just want to feed fast and look good for themselves. <laughs> but uh, your crops is more important to you, not the uh, caterpillar, so you have to spray. Spray it very well, continue to make the spray it. One, two, three, one, two. Mm -hmm. You can you should plant early so that uh, caterpillar won't affect you. But if you plant late, there will be enough water because the rain must have fallen enough. But the caterpillar will come. So this also can also it will just eat the leaves. So that one is not really the main problem of the country, is the caterpillar themselves. The caterpillar. 
with them affecting the, 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 the crop to not grow well. We have to be observant. Be very, very careful when you, you spray us, not to just spray all the leaves. You, know, you, you can spray the, the caterpillar so that it's affecting it. It's always inside. It's always inside. It's always inside. You can see. the whole of the farm. Caterpillar is a dangerous pest. <laughs> Affecting the whole of the farm. As you know, they come to spray it during the maximum year they have. So you have to be observant and visit your farms weekly, possibly weekly. If I daily possible, not now. So in case you want to farm caterpillar, <laughs> I think the corn crop is their favorite food. Oh, <laughs> but I don't know if there is any economic use for caterpillars. They don't think so. So we have to kill them by spraying a farm. You can see. Oh, oh lord. The whole farm is infested. Okay. So I'll keep updating you on the video so that maybe in two days time we'll come back. Oh, that's good. You can see. There is no chance of this survival without spraying it. There is no chance of this survival without spraying it. Without spraying it. Then the caterpillar inside the die. And then the crop can continue to grow very well. Highly infested. Highly infested. The, the caterpillar has been having three day here. A very wonderful, probably, party. <laughs> Maybe they went to invite their relatives. And, uh, so, in continuation, you can see the dead caterpillars in there. You can see them dead. And so, these corns now we have peace to grow very well. They have peace to grow very well because you are very sure that uh, the caterpillars are dead inside. So, that is the aim of spraying in your time. You can see the pillar dead right there. Let's tear this like a wonderful view of the dead caterpillar. <laughs> so you can see, you can see, so that our work was affected. So thank you very much. This is continuous update on the after spraying. This is like two days after spraying the the farm. So you can see now. You can see the the these uh, caterpillars are dead. They're dried up. You can see that they are dried up. You can see that they are dried up. So, with them dead now, this uh, corn can grow up very well. So, it can shoot up very well. So, there will be no caterpillar disturbing them. So, you can see, you don't need to leave your farm to shine. For now, you can see no effect of a uh, caterpillar armyworm or uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call it armyworm, earworm, caterpillars. Those are the major uh, pests that affect the corn, so you can see. But to the local Nigerian uh, farmer, it is caterpillar. So we use caterpillar mostly so that they can understand. So you can see the farm is looking wonderful. It's looking wonderful. It's looking wonderful. The effect of the caterpillar has been minimized to the barest minimum. You can see the farm is looking wonderful. <laughs> corn farm, you can see looking very good so you once your farm is looking this good you know you're looking for the bumper harvest i told you you don't need to leave anything to chance prepare your land plant the seed with it uh add fertilizer or manure cow dung that's what we get to this one so you can add the fertilizer and pk uh, spray it so don't leave anything to chance in your farm at all so that your journey to a bumper harvest is secure so thank you so much for subscribing to our channel, for watching, for learning with us.